drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go! And with that, we're in autonomous. Ways teams can sp score points is by leaving their community. However, if they cross that white line, then they get negative points. Teams also get points by scoring on the charging station. Both red and blue lines have robots engaged on the charging station at the autonomous period. At the end of the autonomous period, we have the blue in a lead with 33 to 21, but that can easily change. Robot 3630 30 scores a cone in, on, in the grid for the Red Alliance. We got a lot of action in this center field as robots are trying to cycle from their game pieces and putting them onto the grid. Thunder Robotics is scoring a cone onto their mid row and that creates a link. Every time they create a link, they get five additional points. Oh, wow. 36-30 did a little bit of a tip over. Thunder Robotics is scoring on that top row for the Blue Alliance, and they've got two nodes in a row, and if they get another one, they will cause a link. Robo Raiders looking to pick up a cube to score for the Red Alliance. Thunder Robotics go crossing the field to score, maybe making a link for the Blue Alliance. 88. Blue Alliance is trying to cycle those game pieces to get points for their Blue Alliance. 31-34, they're crossing that charging, charging station to get that cube onto their grid. And with that, we have 30 seconds remaining in the match. That means we're in the end game, and teams can now score with the charging station. Red Alliance has got two robots on that charging station. If they get it level, that's additional. That's 10 points per robot. 31-34 for the Blue Alliance is getting up on that charging station. Red Alliance is having some trouble, but Blue Alliance has now got a level charging station. Five seconds left in the match. And the scores are in. At the end of the match, Blue Alliance wins. At the end of that match, Blue Alliance has a score of 108, and Red Alliance has a score of 64.